Hi, I'm Alex Oliveira. I'm a junior chemical engineering major at the University of Connecticut, and this summer I'm working on redox flow batteries with the Russian platform. So redox flow batteries are a very promising technology for large-scale energy storage. And in particular, the work that Alex is doing with us over this summer internship is focusing on modifying the surface chemistry of these uh, porous electrodes. We flow the electrolyte through these tubes, through the cell and back out. Um, and then to test this setup, what we typically do is connect these leads, and then we can input our voltage and set our voltage through this. We'll usually have a separator of some sort, we use a nafion membrane, which is a very common material in these um, applications that you can flow through. So when we measure the current, we can get all sorts of information that we need. Um, in this case, what we're using it for is to take capacitance readings, which is an electrochemical um, property that we can then use to calculate the real surface area. So we want to know the entire area over which we're going to be reacting our electrolyte. So in particular, we are using electrochemical methods, uh, not with active species like in the actual battery operation, but to get some valuable material property, like the surface area. This is our carbon cloth electrode, which is one of our more interesting and more successful electrodes. So if you look up to the light, you can see how porous it is. So the electrolyte can flow through this much more effectively than some of the other electrodes we have. I'll be growing polymers onto the surface of carbon electrodes to see if we can change the chemistry of the electrodes and then measure the overall performance of our redox flow battery. So redox flow batteries are a very promising technology for large-scale energy storage. If we think about a modern society where we rely on renewable energy technologies such as wind and sun, which are unpredictable and intermittent, we need some technological solution to store electricity and give it back at the time where we need it. And so far, there is not out there a technology that fulfills these requirements. For these purposes, what makes redox flow batteries so unique is that they can completely decouple power and energy. So if you think of your car, in this case, the engine and the fuel tank would be completely separate. So for our purposes, our reactor and our tank control power and energy separately. 